day to you all. It's so, so, so cold. Um, I don't like it. But stick around for music from High Visions and opinions from some other people. Extra, extra, here's some news. Here's some news. Aerial Salad. We've got new tunes coming out. When? Soon, apparently. Exactly when? We don't know yet, but they'll let us know, I'm sure. Ducking Punches. We've got a new two-track single called A Little Death that you can listen to right now via their band camp. And they've had a new merch drop as well, which will, no doubt, look awesome. Go check out my little label page at In It Records for new releases by Baldhead and the Dreads. High Visions and Ode to Sleep. Really proud of all three of these EPs. Um, great reviews from the likes of Collins Punk Rock World and Ian Nutrition and the Punk Site. Really grateful to all of those who have supported the label. Um, give all those a listen, please. Please, thank you very much. Um, bye. It's not an interrogation. It's just a question for you. My album of the year is A Thousand Gex and The Tree of Clues by A Hundred Gex. You might not think it's a punk album, but I believe that this album has covertly introduced a generation of teenagers to Scar without them knowing, and I support it. This is my favourite album of 2020. Punk Rock World Final Challenge. Right, for the 9th of January, it's an all time classic, and we have Nirvana's Nevermind. As good today as it was 100 years ago, or however long it was when it came out. 1991. Bloody hell. So old. Day 10. Um, splat of vinyl. I'm into, I'm into repeat territory here, but. Poppies, I disagree. On this blood red splatter. Lovely. Day 12, a live album. And we have Wonk Units live in Japan. Japan? Japan.
don't forget to like and subscribe.